So there's a very interesting note that caught my attention, especially because I wanted to do something similar when I was using Game Maker and it was not possible. And that note is the video player. So if you want to, you know, have a nice introduction with, you know, your logo of your studio or whatever video, it's usually, you know, what happens in many other games. If you want to have something like that, it's very nice to you know, create just a scene with the video. I have one here prepared, it's just a placeholder. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and use this node. Uh, if you see here in stream, this is the actual video that you want to open. You can only open a few kinds of videos. Here you have like uh, OGV and WebM are the ones that, you know, are supported. I have just this WebM. Is, there are a lot of converters uh, online or even you know offline that you can use if you have a video on MP4 and you want to get it to WebM to being able to open it here. But yeah, let's go and add it. Okay, so we have our node now, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the layout to full rect as before, and now let's see. Let's press on autoplay because we wanted to play automatically when I run the project. Let's see, let's save this as intro. And here we have it. Here we have the video and the problem I see here is that it's stretching in a weird way. Uh, but that's more related with how Godot will use this. And also if you notice the video stopped playing uh, because the loop is very short so one thing you can do is to create the script on your video and use the signal finished to do something when the video finished so what I will want to do just for this example is I want to play it again so when the video is over I want it to play again so it loops but if you are doing an intro to your game or program or whatever, you just have to, you know, do whatever you want here in this signal. Let's try it out again and we see the video which should loop. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So we have the video now and I you know, if you want to keep the proportions, you can do that from the project settings, window, and here in mode, instead of disable, you can do viewport, and aspect you want to do keep, so it will keep the aspect, and now, you know, it's more like a video player. You can even do a video player with this. There's not a lot of options. Because if we go to the documentation, you see that there's not like you get the stream position, but it doesn't give you a lot of information on the video, so you have to code a lot of that yourself. But you know, it's it's very nice to have something like this, especially because you know this in other engines would be so complicated to to create. Now I'm gonna try something that. I wanted always to do, but maybe, you know, if we add something on top of this, let's see, let's add just a button here and let's say Godot is cool. Okay, can I see it on top of that? Yeah, so even if you want to create a menu with a background loop, uh, you can do so and I think it's very very cool. I think it's a very good feature and a very simple mode to know. I downloaded this video from a website which is called cover.co. Uh, they are not paying me uh, or anything. It's uh, just a, a website that you can use for downloading videos. Um, they are free to use so yeah you have a lot of options so if you're looking for something it's, it's a very good resource to have. So yeah, sorry for the short video this week. I've been doing a lot of work and I'm looking forward to the weekend so I can record something better uh, for you guys. 
thank you very much for your support i really want to thank my new patreon uh, mike king thank you so much for your support and yeah if you want to help me making more videos you know what to do <laughs> thank you very much and see you next time